All right, welcome everybody. Welcome to another video. This is going to be an exciting match. You do not want to miss this Kurapika Green versus Kurapika Green finals in our locals today. We had six players come in. We saw two blue uh, decks, a blue Hunter x Hunter, two green uh, Hunter x Hunter. Actually, we had seven players and then we saw one green uh, two green uh, bleach decks and then my purple bleach deck i got second i lost to the guy to the left he was able to play two karapikas down and he was able to take me out uh we got second in the tournament we were able to get the biakia winners but he was able to get his cc uh so let's go ahead kind of spoiled it for you guys but you're gonna get excited here's gonna be an exciting match let's watch this so it looks like Going first on the left, starting with the Zep pile. Oh, never mind. I guess uh, he kind of forgot that he's going second. <laughs> going second here, starts with the Zep pile. Really strong start there for the uh, green Hunter x Hunter deck, actually. Let's you look for your Kurapika. Then Leorio really is one of the most stable starts. You could go for the two cost. Uh, two energy giver, but it's kind of risky. You need two zeros to start with. To pull him off so a lot of people just opt for the need of the one card and also playing the zep file twice is actually insane va value for the green hunter x hunter deck because he needs his karapikas pulling him back twice is kind of ridiculous now he's gonna get to play zep file one more time is the great second karapika the second turn karapika is he gonna be able to punish this misplay maybe perhaps uh, but we do see that the left side has a lot of energy now we are going to play the karapika on the right side we have four energy total because the satots was able to give us the energy we need so uh, already we can tell the right side karapika is playing a little bit differently than we were used to activates bunkai already emptied out his hand neon is she gonna pick up anything oh my god literally nothing Oh my god, we got nothing. Unfortunate Neon play. Oh my god, two Lior Liorios and two sp specials. We're going to have to put those at the bottom of the deck. Unfortunate there. Really tough start for the right side. Karapika uh, did activate Bankai though, so he does get to play one card. He goes for the Hisoka now. He might get punished over the Hisoka because... Oh my god, no, he was able actually to pull off the Kurapika, doesn't get the snipe off, unfortunately, which means that he is going to get punished next turn if the left side Kurapika gets activated. So let's see what the other person wants to do here, looks like he activated a color trigger, lets him play the gun from the top, gun lets him look for anything he wants, That's Leo. anything that's not gone basically in the deck. And so he has to look at, uh, I think, I don't think he's allowed to find the gone. So unfortunately, it doesn't get any options there. No, he's not allowed to. This is actually an illegal move. Gone cannot find guns. He can only find Liorio, Karapikas, or uh, what was the last one? Kilowas as well. Unfortunately, there, the left side that does make a misplay, picking up the wrong gone. He's not allowed to pick that up, but that's fine. Let's see if he's going to be able to punish the seven cost Kurapika on the right side. That guy played a little bit too early. There we are. We see seven energy on the board. Now, unfortunately, there is no actual Kurapika on the board for us to raid. So did we just misplay that Neon? Oh, no, we did misplay the Neon. He's going to have to put it in his hand and activate Bankai. Because he didn't have any Kurapikas to land. So really, if he had a Kurapika, he would have been able to uh, get a, an amazing combo off. So there was an unfortunate mishap over there. Gone activating, going to 5,000. Then giving himself another 1,000, going to 6,000. So we're not going to be able to block that. That gone is actually a really nice addition there. The left side Kurapika has a couple of extra gones in the deck to raid just because he felt like he needed more raiders and actually in my opinion pays off really well there's the hisoka for six energy we do have that six and no we have five energy so it is five energy hisoka i think that hisoka what it does is it does something well here i'll find it but it does something when you 
It's not the greatest Hisoka. Oh my god, we lost the whole game. But it's a nice forky on the board. Oh my god, there we are. We see the Kurapika going off. Let's see how it came off. It looks like he was really mad. First thing he did was play the Kurapika. Went for the snipe. And unfortunately now the Kurapika on the right side is going to be gone. This is really a mishap here by the right side. Unfortunately, playing his Karapika a little bit too early. He could have honestly just moved a couple of units forwards, attacked with them, and he could have kind of uh, forced... Ooh, there's another Karapika, so we could pull that off next turn. Really nice. So we're not going to really get that punished. <laughs> oh, get ready. This is exciting, guys. I love green versus green. Okay, we're going to have to draw. Can we pull off a 2 energy Kurapika on the board? We need that 2 energy Kurapika, but, and we can get a nice combo off. I don't see ability to get a 2 energy out. That's so unfortunate. Oh no, this is so unfortunate. We could have at least moved some units forward to put four damage on the board to kind of put some pressure on the opponent. If we knew that we we're going to be so far behind, we cannot activate what we want. Uh, we could have moved a couple of units forwards, in my opinion, maybe the Neon. But that's fine. Maybe we want to pull off that Kurapika next turn. I don't know how we're going to do that. We don't have any two energies in our hand. But I guess we did pull back the... We did play the Zeppa so we can pick it back up with the Leorio next turn. We'll see how that pays off. Let's see if the Kurapika green on the left side can pull really far ahead here. He does move the gun forwards, signaling there's a potential raid coming up, which we do see that raid in his hand. Neon might be coming down as well. Neon is great here. He's been baying off really well. He can play that Kurapika down for five costs for free active, gaining an ability to draw... Or to look at the top of the deck uh, when played. Oh, unfortunately, he forgot to do that. And um, But it's still nice. It's nice to have that Kurapika. This Neon is really paying off huge for the left side. Um, even though we kind of misplayed it a little bit. Uh, there we are. We remembered now that Kurapika can activate. We activate him. Put the Bankai down, which is interesting. The Hunter. We didn't, we didn't want to pick up the Hunter x Hunter final. But that's fine. Gone is pushing now. Now left side is pushing for a lot of damage here. 6k is on board potentially. I mean everything is 5k right now. Because every time Gone attacks he gives plus 1k to, uh, to 2 units. So he can give himself and the 4k plus 1. Now we're attacking. We have 2 impactors on the board. Oh because we did hit the active trigger. It doesn't go through. Now third Kurapika. Now we need to start pulling off those Kurapikas. Can we pull it off guys? Oh no, so unfortunately what we're going to have to do is move... Oh man, this is going to be very expensive. No! Don't draw! Okay, we do have the snipe. But we need to set up now. So what we need to do is move Kurapika forward. No, 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 no. Okay, this is one turn too late. If we knew we're not going to go Kurapika next turn... Anyway, sorry, I'm, I'm going too far ahead. But this is smart. We move it forward... We can maybe now play the Leorio to pick up the Zeppile so we can have the energy necessary next turn. No, we played the wrong Leorio. Not sure for what. And unfortunately, this might be too late. I mean, if our opponent can get one more impactor on the board, he's going to be able to win this game next turn. Doesn't matter how many p people we pulled off. We might be one late, one turn too late for the right side Kurapika. Let's see how it goes for him. Attacks with the 4k. Does it pay off? No, it's blocked, even though it's an impactor. Ugh, oh, unfortunate. Uh, Hisoka here is going to attack as well. I'm going to take it. Ooh, Kurapika. He can raid it. He can actually raid that Kurapika. The raid can force a rest. No, he doesn't. He, he'd rather just keep it in hand and get the snipe. That's, the, that's actually the, uh, the final next turn. This is how we're going to finalize our game next turn. There it is. This is it right here, guys. I'm surprised it didn't attack. I don't know why the Kurapika, the two Kurapikas didn't attack on the right side. Unfortunately, the right side uh, green is kind of uh, mistiming or misplaying. He could have attacked one more attack with that Kurapika. Oh, he doesn't have six energy, so they're both three keys. That's why. Okay, I get it now. 
So what happened is we're sniping. This is the snipe we needed. If we don't get a final here, we lose the game. We don't have any way to stop the three impactors that are active right now. We have three impactors active. This is an impact. Oh no, and then final impact. No, 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 we cannot stop this. And Hunter x Hunter, green to the left side. <sighs> Special. Oh, that was huge. I think there was... Was that second special as well already? So I mean it was gonna be very tough for the right side to come back with that special right there And then yeah, that's it. It was just one special so very nice game interesting your opinion guys leave it down below Let's